October 14th UPI former Seattle Seahawks player Nate Boyer thinks Colin Kaepernick and Donald Trump should be uniting America. The former Army Green Beret wrote a letter, which was published by ESPN, detailing his thoughts on the status of the NFL. Boyer also wrote an open letter last year in the Army Times to Kaepernick. In his latest letter, Boyer starts out by saying he is hurt by the fact that Americans seem like they just hate each other. Simply put, it seems like we just hate each other and that is far more painful to me than any protest, or demonstration, or rally, or tweet, Boyer said. We're told to pick a side, there's a line drawn in the sand are you with us or against us it's just not who we are, or at least who we're supposed to be we're supposed to be better than that, we're Americans. This doesn't even seem to be about right or wrong, but more about right or left. Today it feels like this national divide isn't even really about the anthem, or the flag, or kneeling, or sitting, or fists in the air. It's not about President Donald Trump, it's not about Colin Kaepernick, it's not about the military, or even police brutality. It feels like it's about winning. That's what makes America so great, our sheer competitiveness. We're winners, and we won't quit until victory is ours. He also said that he sat down with a group of five combat arms and special operations veterans earlier this week. During the roundtable discussion, Boyer said the group agreed that Kaepernick and President Trump should be the ones uniting our country together. Kaepernick began his protests during the national anthem in 2016 to highlight his opposition against police brutality and racial inequality. The protests have since spread around the league. This season several NFL team owners and coaches joined the players on the sidelines by either kneeling with them or locking arms before or during the song. Boyer met with Kaepernick after the first time he decided to protest during the anthem. Kaepernick began his protests by sitting on the bench by himself during the anthem. After talking with Boyer, he began to kneel. Even though my initial reaction to your protest was one of anger, I'm trying to listen to what you're saying and why you're doing it, Boyer wrote for the Army Times in 2016. When I told my mom about this article, she cautioned me that the last thing our country needed right now was more hate. As usual, she's right. There are already plenty people fighting fire with fire, and it's just not helping anyone or anything. So I'm just going to keep listening, with an open mind. I look forward to the day you're inspired to once again stand during our national anthem. It'll be standing right there next to you. Keep on trying, don't press a liber. A few days after penning the open letter to Cap Henrik last year, Boyer met with the former 49ers quarterback and posted a photo on social media. Shortly after the meeting, Boyer attended a 49ers game as Kaepernick's guest. Kaepernick took a knee during the anthem, while Boyer stood next to him. Thanks for the invite brother, good talk. Let's just keep moving forward. This is what America should be all about, Boyer wrote on a Twitter post of the duo. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell recently issued a memo to all 32 teams saying that players should stand for the anthem. Several NFL team owners have also said that they want their teams to stand during the pre-game ceremony.